Hey there, thanks for tuning into Duck Bricks. I'm Chris and welcome to Lego Mini Reviews, the show where I review a ton of different Lego vintage and new sets right here on the Duck Bricks YouTube channel in a short form format. So I have a ton of Bricklink orders to get through as well as just associated Lego purchases and I figured instead of making a mega video where I go through every single one that's hours long, why not break it up into separate mini reviews? And so in addition to our normal three videos a week schedule, be sure sure to stay tuned for a mini review dropping every single day where we do not normally have a standard video releasing. I hope you enjoy and let's jump right into our first pick. Now this set right here is the LEGO Rock Raiders Headquarters. Now I actually did already own this set but it was broken apart in my collection. I was trying to locate the pieces for it but eventually just figured why not just buy a second one and use the base plate for some other LEGO stuff for my own purposes. So. This is a really fantastic vintage Lego set. It is a very similar build to some of the castle sets of its time because of course it uses a similar base plate, but the detailing is definitely very distinct for the underground theme. And this does actually have quite a few different features to it. Now, first of all, you have this sort of crane here, which is meant to actually dump rocks into the quarry in the center there. The way it works is if I get this little car out of the way, let's just drive that backwards out here. Very simple car, or maybe you could even use it to load backwards. So if you want to have this car facing backwards, you have a bit of a place here to load rocks. Let me just take this rock here and you push it along and there it goes. The rock falls down. It's supposed to technically fall into here, but you get the idea and you push this back up. The car brings it out and that's how the function works. So it's a pretty fun function. You've got all sorts of different stuff here to actually analyze the different rock samples. So if you look on this area right here, you've got a little robotic arm that's maybe a laser drill that's drilling into the rock. And you also have this crane to place the rock downwards onto this particular platform here, just based on how you have it hoisted up. Moving on to this side, this is actually a light up piece. It's a little hard to see right now, but pressing the button here causes a light to shine out of the front of this piece right here. It was a piece that was used in almost every single Rock Raider set. So if you own one of the Rock Raider sets, you probably have this. And finally, there's just a little recharging station for a flyer here. One thing I really do like about the Rock Raider sets is that it really feels like it can come alive with different modules. Maybe this is just because I was a fan of the original Rock Raiders video game, but you had bases just like this where you built up different modules in the game and they all did different things, which is also why I really like playing with the sets like this and why I was okay with owning two of the set because I could use the other base plate as say an expansion to this main set. You've got little flyers that deploy from different bases here. You've got analysis stations, cranes, lasers, a big central dumping station right here. All sorts of just really fun functions across this entire set. And of course, you have one of the big boy rock monsters here who actually can hold crystals and maybe even throw minifigures. So what's not to like about this classic Rock Raider set? Definitely has a very different design philosophy than LEGO has today where they focused on making the largest thing possible with the least amount of pieces possible, which is why you've got big base plate here, large kind of crane pieces to elevate the platforms here. But all in all, it ends up being a very impressive set and very large because of all the effort that's put into actually making this seem built up. All right, and with that, we have summed up this mini LEGO review. Thank you all so much for tuning in, and do let me know down in the comments below what do you think of this set. Do you like it? Do you dislike it? And if you own it, what have been your experiences with building and playing with the set itself? Also, let me know in the comments if you like this format of mini reviews. I'm trying to put them out on a fairly regular basis. So thank you so much for tuning in, and I'll talk to you again very soon. Like and subscribe for even more LEGO news, reviews, discussion, and analyses coming your way very, very soon.